And elsewhere, Chief Justice Martha Kwame has issued a stern warning to children who put other students and teachers in danger through acts of arson or damage of property. Kwame said that once a school decides to punish them, no court will hear a case challenging such a decision. The CJ stated that so many disobedient children force their parents to use the judicial system to punish school administrators and get away with their sins, which she now says they must learn from their deeds. Lela Mohammed has the story. While the judiciary has been seen as a possible route to seek redress for many expelled from the school system due to discipline cases, the country's top judge and president of the Supreme Court now says that things will have to change and understands that this may not sit well with those who may seek to engage with the judiciary on cases where schools are sued for making tough decisions under tough circumstances. Anybody who would dare to bring a school because it has disciplined children to maintain high standards of discipline in the school, the code of conduct of the school, that case will be dismissed and it will be dismissed with the costs because we do not encourage indiscipline at all. Parents have been asked to take their role in their children's lives seriously to provide guidance to a generation struggling with many issues that may be driving them to truancy and indiscipline. Our constitution is very, very good. It has very, very clear values that we should follow, values of parental responsibility, that we have the obligation to bring up our children. And when you are part of your child's life and you take active participation in school, you should just marvel at the success of your child. Kome, who has long advocated for children's rights, has also noted what she calls a significant improvement in child protection laws in which suspects found guilty of child abuse are sentenced to at least 20 years in prison as a way to ensure that children are fully protected. Leila Mohammed, NTV.